Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. I hope you're all well, having a great day. We kicked off yesterday with this fantastic looking team on your screen in front of you. And compared to the last couple of weeks on the Roulette series, it looks pretty decent, doesn't it, going forward? I'm super confident about going forward with this team and I do feel like we're going to get some really good results going forward with it. And remember that we do have our four buttons that we can activate come tomorrow's episode. So if you'd like to see any one of those buttons, the Legend Maker, the Randomizer, the Switch Up or the Patreon button activated, do let me know down in the comment section below which one you would like to see activated and if you'd like to see any activated at all. I'm quite happy sitting on the team and seeing how it does at the minute anyway. We can maybe wait till the end of the week to see those before we activate them. And in other news, because I just want to say a big huge thank you to all of you guys for all the support that you give on the channel. I'm going to be holding a giveaway this week on the channel for this amazing brand new Tags Attached Flinch Squad, I Hot Flinch flat peak cap so if you want to get your hands on this cap all you need to do God, all you need to do is just leave a comment and a like on the video and comment can be about anything you can just be saying hi it can be just saying I like the hat I hate the hat I like the team the team sucks I don't know anything it can be anything I always say I love hearing from you guys just generally the support that I get from you guys is absolutely incredible and I just want it's a little something I can do to show my appreciation for all the support that we've had and uh, hopefully going forward things are going to get a lot better on the channel so without further ado let's get into the team as always it's down in the description below there is a roll paste poker paste Check it out, try it out, and uh, I'll just reiterate, as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help the channel out. It really does. And uh, make sure you do subscribe, like I'm saying. Finding a rhythm now at home, finding a rhythm with Thea, finding a rhythm with my new job. So content is going to be on the forefront and coming back to being great. <laughs> Make content great again. No, it will be. We're going to have the Sword and Shield stuff, the Flinch Squad Circuit stuff, and uh, I've got something else in the works and we'll be streaming this Thursday. So make sure that you do jump over to Twitch. I will tweet out, follow me on Twitter, OsirisVGC over there, and uh, I will tweet out when I do. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm streaming yet, but I've got an idea. We've got a first opponent anyway, so we need to get into it because we're otherwise going to run out of time. So our first opponent today is running a team of Palkia. Big shout out to Will R from the Patreon who is a big Palkia fan. Then we got Groudon, we got Shininja, Joy, Joy, um, Salamence, Incineroar and Tapacoco. We don't have any Sulk I don't think on the team so that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, Eveltal here going to be extremely good uh, outside of that Coco but I'm kind of inclined to lead Garchomp and Eveltal so I'm going to go there and definitely going to bring Xerneas to this match and do we bring Purgly? The fake out could be generally quite good just to help us. I am actually, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not. I'm going to lead Garchomp per ugly. I'm going to bring XY in the back. Do I um, bring Bennett or... I don't think Orangari here is that great. Um, yeah, I'm going to lock in with these. And we'll get into our first one today. We are on a record at the minute of one win, one loss. Which isn't great, but... Hopefully, today is the day that we get two wins in an episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. Maybe today is the day. If we're ever going to do it with any team, it's going to be this team, I feel. So, it's exciting. We're going to lead off with Pearl Ugly, Garchomp. I just wonder whether we'll see a Trick Room, and this helps us against that Trick Room. Otherwise, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of alright, aren't we? So, what we can do here is fake out the type of Coco Trade Fake Outs. Maybe lock into Stomping Tantrum, uh, just in case we don't see uh, Fake Out onto the Garchomp, so we can at least get some decent damage off onto the Incineroar. Um, but we do get that Defiant ability procced on Perugly, which is super nice. So let's go for Stomping into Incineroar, and then we'll go for the Fake Out into the Coco. Coco Maloco! Um, yeah, I, I, I'd expect we just trade fake outs here. I'm just gonna see uh, the Coco switch out for later. Zabelkia come onto the field, uh, which is fine. I don't mind this at all. Um, and I imagine the makeup of my opponent's team is the Palkia is there too. Wow, you don't even see a fake out from the Incineroar. Do you get a Stomp and Tantrum onto it though? Very 
nice low kick. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, we, we want to probably take Garchomp out of the equation now. We could get the Incineroar though. That's a tempting thing. Mm. Just stay in. I do feel like the Palkia goes for. Uh, it's just if we lose Garchomp. If we lose Garchomp, it's not good because we need Garchomp for the the Coco. Um, I'm going to switch Garchomp out, and I'm going to taunt taunt the Palkia because I feel like the Palkia goes for the Trick Room. I just got this feeling that this team is going Trick Room with the Groud on the the Palkia makes a lot of sense. And the Coco helps with the uh, the electric terrain to prevent. Amoong has been such an issue going forward. It all comes together quite nicely, doesn't it? So that'll be my best guess. I'm not really keen on Shiny Palkia. It looks too much... I don't know. Too pink. Too pink. They could have changed it up a little bit. Like a black... Imagine a black Palkia. Black and gold. Ah, oh, that would look so good. Looks so strong, so good. Okay, so we're gonna see the taunt there. Ooh, spatial rent doesn't affect Xerneas. That's good. So at least preserving. I got chomp. Um. <sighs> Do we just go for the Ferinium? Uh, we could go for the Geomancy. I just feel a little bit like um, probably don't necessarily want to do that too much. Uh, we could go for a Giga Impact into the Coco. Uh, I feel like the Coco probably wants to target on the Xerneas to protect that Palkia. That would make the most sense, which kind of opens the door for the Paragly to get some damage off. But there we go. There is the Z-move coming out from the Coco. Um, once we get rid of this, things become a little bit easier. Uh, did we lose? Yeah, the Palkia can't, can't really protect or do anything else. It is taunted, so it probably will take down the, the Paragly. You know the Coco isn't sashed, so Giga Impact should take it down. Uh, Zony has taken that pretty comfortably. Can this be the day that we... Oh, come on. Come on! Giga Impact! Why are you so... Why do you miss? Ah, oh, okay. So we'll lose Paragly, unfortunately. Um, let's get Garchomp in. We got a great way to get a double Geo up now. Um, we have to lock into. Uh, let's go for it. Let's just do it. We have to lock into Stomp and Tantrum now because we can't really Earthquake. We don't want the extra damage onto Xerneas, unfortunately. Um, Coco's likely to protect here, I'd imagine. No, no protect. This should take it down now. We are adamant. It's not sashed, so there's a Coco going. Bye bye. Uh, we'll probably lose Garchomp to this special rend. It does hit. Does it have a chance to miss? Unfortunately, not this time. Garchomp going down, and we are going to get at least one, one, one Geomancy up, which is good. What if my opponent's like, oh no, they are going for the Twinkle Tackle, but we're using Geomancy instead. We probably would have been better off going for the, the Twinkle Tackle, to be honest. Um, hmm. Now the Incineroar can come in and really put the stoppers on us being able to do very much. Uh, it's it's alright though. Um, I'm f okay, Groudon coming in. Hmm. Groudon. We'll get Ivelto. We could Snarl. Uh, there we foul play. Snarling probably... Mm, nah, I think foul play the ground on. Just to get some damage onto it. Like, we'll take a Presbyterian Blade. I don't... Like, the pack here... What's it got other than Spatial Rend? <sighs> no water type attack. Because that can't can't do anything now. Um, yeah, we'll go for a foul play into the ground on. We should outspeed it. Maybe, maybe not. But we are plus one with Xerneas across the board right now. Palkia going to withdraw. We are going to see Incinero come onto the field. That's fine. We'll have the ability to fake out this next turn. Uh, what's a Groudon going to do, though? That's the big question. Um, there's a Geomancy. So we get that off before the Groudon. Um, proving that it's a bit slower. Well, proving nothing, really, is it? So, depends if it's slower than the Veltal. That'll be the question. Yeah, it's a slow Groudon. Um, so, probably a bit more bulkier. 
Uh, but that's doing nice damage. We should take this with Xerneas. Yeah, I mean that plus one defense really helping out and the, the, the fact that we don't get burnt there is huge for us. Now I think Xerneas can win this match. Um, okay. I still think that Burnett is a little bit better at supporting Xerneas um, than maybe we're not giving it a chance. So maybe the next game we bring the Burnett and give it a little bit of a go out. So I'll go for a foul play into the Groudon, uh, protect Xerneas. I think if you're Incineroar you have to fake out the Xerneas slot. Um, you probably want to call the protect there but I mean it's not really worth not faking out into that slot. Uh, the worst thing that could happen, well, I was going to say the worst thing that could happen would be a roar, but you can't roar us out because we got nothing in the back. This is all we got. This is all we got. So we'll go for the foul play. We'll see what my opponent's going to do. They're in a pretty sticky spot right now. Xerneas is plus three across the board. Well, plus three in special defense, special attack and speed. We're going to get this foul play off though, which is nice. Should be able to take down this ground on which it is. Incineral, is it just going for an attack into Xerneas maybe, yeah, Flebit just wants to try and get rid of it, and then the Palkit coming in, and we're going to be off to a win again today, which is good, which is good, so that takes us to two wins, it's not over yet, of course, anything can happen, um, but I feel pretty good about a Dazzling game here, just being able to do the business, uh, plus three Dazzling game, I don't, I don't see many things that aren't super resistant to taking that so Incineroar it only takes about 50% from a regular Dazzling Gleam or just thereabouts so this should be more than enough. Palkia is not in a, in a great place right now so we'll just Dazzling Gleam and oh I'm sorry sorry Veltal I need to click in your move completely forgot that you're sitting on the field there as well but there's the forfeit so very good game to my opponent as I say a nice way for us to kick off today and um we have two wins to one this week, so that is great. If we can finish up today with three wins in total and one loss, things are all looking rosy in the garden. I'm telling you, we're going to get above 1,500 by the end of the week. I promise you that, guys. I promise you that. So <clears throat> let's hop straight into our next game um, and see how long. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. Let's lock in some music. Let's go for... Um, enter the Ultra Beasts. Yeah, let's do that one. And on Thursday, I mentioned earlier, I will be starting streaming again this Thursday. So it will be around 8 o'clock. I'll start the stream. Um, now I'm in two minds, whether I do a Pokemon stream or there is this new game called Temtem. I don't know how many of you out there have heard about it, but I will be doing and playing that game. Definitely, I'm going to be doing content on that game in the future. So whether or not I've now got access to the alpha uh, version of the game so I can go in and test it out. It's not the full game, but I can do that. And I was thinking maybe on Thursday, for those of you out there that haven't played it or haven't seen it or want to see it before you maybe purchase the game because there is uh, the opportunity for you to actually purchase the game now for when it is officially released and you get access to the alpha by doing that so I was going to stream that on Thursday and I think it could be fun now it is a very it's based on Pokemon it takes a lot of inspiration from Pokemon this game if you want information about it go over to Temtem I think uh, Temtem Project <laughs> I think that's the website. I'll link it down in the description. If you want to check it out, it looks a lot of fun. It's this big open world, online open world game, uh, Pokemon battling without the RNG, interestingly enough. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, we're just searching for our next opponent. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. What I'm going to do is just cut it right here and we'll come back when we get uh, our next opponent. So we'll be right back, my friends. And we got our next opponent of the episode. So let's get straight into that team preview. Okay, this one might be one for Rangry. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. So we've got Lunala and Rayquaza. Um, uh, an interesting restricted combination that we don't see too much of. Then you've got the Tapu Fini. Incineroar, very common combination with that. Rayquaza, one providing the Fake Out Intimidate support. With slow pivot. And then the other with the Terrain support. Um, speed control. Something to check. Xerneas as well with potentially Haze. And Amoongus is all... Oh, uh, yeah. You've got all the Xerneas checks here. You've got probably Glare on that Superior as well. Um, that's something we need to watch out for, definitely. 
Um, hmm. Do we actually go down the Bennett route this time? Hmm. Bennett and Perugly could be decent. Uh, maybe. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Oranguru again could be good against this Lunala. Um, let's go Perugly. I think Eveltal could be decent here as well. We have to be careful with this period though. But the Oblivion Wing could be good. Um, the Rayquaza is going to be a bit a bit awkward to deal with. Um, I am going to bring Binet. And let's bring Xerneas as well. Why the heck not? Uh, I think Garchomp could be... Garchomp could be very good here, for sure. Um, and Oranguru, I do like the Oranguru. I feel already like Oranguru is like the, the one Pokemon. I feel a bit bad for it. We haven't really utilized it very much. Hopefully tomorrow's episode we can utilize it. But I do feel at the minute, if I'm going to switch anything out, it's going to be the Oranguru. It's going to be the monkey. But maybe we bring it tomorrow and it's like, yeah, this is why you're here. I just figured, like, it's more of a trick room Pokemon. I could Scarf it and go for Scarf and Instruct. That could be quite fun. That might be an option. If you like the sound of that, let me know. Uh, we're going to see Rayquaza and Amoongus come out for my opponent. Um, uh, okay, let's... We've got to fake out the Amoongus, definitely. And let's just go for a foul play into the Rayquaza. Just try and get some damage off there. It requires I can't take down either target here. It's probably scared of a fake out into that slot. I mean, it could be banded as well. That's something else we've got to watch out for, for sure. Um, and we are going to see a Rayquaza Mega Evolve into Mega Rayquaza. Um, what's your Moongus going to do, though? Moongus could protect. Okay. So I'm just going to protect. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And we fake out the Moongus. Um, and we can taunt the Amoongus the next turn. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. Ah, oh, that makes things a little bit trickier. That definitely makes things a little bit trickier because we don't have access to our Focus Sash now and the Perugly. Oh, is not in a great place to get this taunt off into the Amoongus, which is not so great. But I think it's got to go Rage Powder because if it doesn't go Rage Powder, the Rayquaza goes Dragon Ascent, we go Foul Play, we take it down to its Sash and it's in, in a, a really not great place. So yeah, there's the Rage Powder. Uh, maybe we should have went for an Oblivion Wing. Yeah, there's the Dragon Ascent. Where are you going though? Are you going to chase down this? Oh, you're chasing down the, the Veltal. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't mind that too much because we'll get this Taunt off into the Amoongus, and that's a big thing, like, we were able to shut that thing down, then we can double into the Rayquaza the next turn, potentially, there's the foul play into the Amoongus, unfortunately, um, and take a more Rocky Helmet damage in the process, now let's Giga Impact the Ray, and go for a, uh, do we Sucker Punch, I think we Sucker Punch the Ray, just to break a potential Sash there, uh, and get some decent damage onto it as well, it goes for an Extreme Speed, so, yeah, we will, they, like, gone for the Sucker Punch there, we weren't going to lose anything. Um, and we'll get this Giga Impact. Hopefully we don't miss. Okay, that's alright. Now, um, Giga Drain. Giga. Not Mega Drain. Giga Drain. Um, I don't know why you've run Mega Drain at all. Things aren't looking too great for us right now. Um, hmm. Extreme Speed, Dragon Ascent. Um, we can't switch out Perugly. Let's bring in Xerneas, because we can protect Xerneas. I wonder if the Amoongus has got clear smog as well. That's the other thing. So, if it's got clear smog, that'll be interesting. Um, so, I'm going to have to go for... I think we'll just have to protect Xerneas this turn. So, I'm just going to protect it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm recording at the minute. Do you want to come and be on a video with me? Okay, guys. I've got my little nephew with me here at the minute. Here we go. Here's Elijah, everyone. We're playing Pokemon. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> so everyone's watching you right now. We're playing some Pokemon. So it's not going so well, though, at the minute. We're going to have to try and win. Okay, he's got to go. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs>
And there goes the green screen. So there we are. Okay, I have no idea what just happened in that turn. Unexpected guest, but never mind. Um, okay, the Moogus. Right, so Lunala coming in. We're just going to protect. Okay, what's going on? At least we get the um, Perugly. Still, I don't know what happened here. The whole Elijah coming in is just thrown off. So, right. Um, I mean, we can taunt. The Tapu Fini is probably the one thing that we want to taunt here. And go for the Geoman. Did we go for the Geomancy? Uh, let's go to Z. I mean, if we get the Z Geomancy off, it's pretty decent, right? We're going to add speed the Lunala. The Tapu Fini. Okay. Right. Well, why, God? That, that, that's fine. We'll get the taunt off into the Finny. Now, that shuts down the hairs. I've lost all train of thought. I have no idea what's going on in this match. And that, that, that totally thrown me off. So if we get a win here, this is this is crazy. <laughs> I think I can hear it. <laughs> my mom's side saying, I told you not to go in the room while he's recording. Like, oh, bless him, bless him. He's cute. He's only, yeah, he's just turned five. Just turned five. He's doing good, he's doing good. So, um, I'll have to get Thea on here next. It's gonna be like a crash in here soon. Um, he's got a little younger sister who's Aubrey, who's two and a half. Who's way, way more behaved than Eliza, but that's fine, isn't it? Uh, okay, so let's go for the taunt into the Lunala. And I guess we get the, the, the Geomancy complete. Let's stop this this Lunala doing something. I can't believe my opponents allowed us to... Um, to the Pearl Ugly to just sit around and do nothing. Um, to not be taken down. I'm not even making sense. But, never mind. So... This could be win two. It wasn't looking too good, but Elijah's obviously our good luck charm in this one. It's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. There's a taunt. Let's see what we're going to see. Uh, ooh, Z move. Okay. Right. Well, we're, st we're still plus one. We're plus one at the minute. No, actually, we've just completed the Geomancy. We're plus three. What am I talking about? This is going to be like... A this is just going to brush us off. We're going to have to cut this. Okay. One of the strongest Z moves in the game... Not bad, not bad. I'll take that all day. Nature's Madness. It's only as ninja-like. Double Geomancy. Just dodging everything. Um, okay, so we can Dazzle the game if we want. Uh, or, oh, I mean, what can we do? Can we bring in Binette? Do we bring in Binette now? Um, nah, we don't bring in Binette right now. Uh, we could... Oh, we could start fake tears and things. Do we do that? Um... I'm going to Giga Impact the Finny, and I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Because there's no Y God threat because of the taunt there. Let's see what this is like. Wow, it does nice damage. Come on, Perugly. Can you pick up the knockout? Please do it. Yes. Okay, we're in a good place right now. Uh, the Amoonga is going to be a bit of a problem to deal with still. Um, side shot coming out. Oof. We are plus one, though. So not hurting as much as it normally would. We might have to protect this next turn, though. Hmm. Can't believe Perugly's just been left alone to just do all this stuff. The match isn't over by a long way right now. Um, we still got this this Rayquaza to worry about. Although I think we're 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 outside of extreme speed range. It's the Amoongus that I worry about a bit more than anything else. And yeah, it's potentially got clear smog. Um, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, we'll protect Xerneas here because I can't, I can't physically kill the Amoongus, but we could double it the next turn um, with a Giga Impact and a Moon Blast. That might be enough to get it. Although, yeah, I think we have to do that the next turn, which then would put us into extreme speed range from uh, the Lunana. Uh, I don't know if a Dazzling Gleam will be enough. Moongus Beam, yep, yeah, and. Uh, Giga Drain, okay. Don't mind this too much, actually. Really don't. Because it kind of indicates that it hasn't got clear smog. There's a taunt wearing off. Don't mind that. Um, Mega Burnett to the rescue. Here we go. Right. Every time you come onto the field, Burnett, you do some work. So let's see what we can do now. Let's... Um, Mega Evolve, for sure. 
Do we disable the Giga Drain? It's gonna go for a spore. That's the only. That's the only problem. That is the problem. <laughs> yep, that is the problem. Um, and we've just protected. Hmm. <sighs> And we can get rid of the Lunala for sure. I mean, let's go for Phantom Force. No, let's not do that. Let's go for Protect. Um, I do think the the move. This is why Taunt is maybe better on Burnett than than the Disable because it's got that instant way to shut things down that can really cause us a few issues. We'll go for the Moonblast into the Lunala to get rid of it. May say, why God here come out? But I can, I totally feel like we're gonna see a spore from Numingus into Azonia slot. Wow. Okay. Rage powder. Huh. Hmm. I don't know if I. Unless we see some speed control here from the Lunala. Numingus beam. Okay. Well, I think I think that just just wins us game potentially because uh, what I'll do I'll go for a destiny bond and I'll go for is the requires a sash brock that's the only thing I'm trying to think because if it's not and have we hit the requires I'm trying to think have we what did we have out against the ray yeah we had Evelto and although we didn't hit it did we because of the rage powder um, and poor ugly um, did we fake it out? I'm not too sure. This might change the dynamics of things. Because we might have to Dazzling Gleam here. Um, I'm going to Phantom Force the Amoongus. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. We could have protected here as well. But then it leaves a Burnett. I think we need the Dazzling Gleam here yeah, to get the Lunala. And if Lunala goes wide guard here. Then it's a totally dead turn for my opponent. Where a Dazzling Gleam plus 3 should get this Lunala. It gets both. Wow. That is a strong plus three dazzling gleam, and now we get uh, the, sh the phantom force. Now, uh, Bennett will vanish. Yay! And uh, the rare cards are coming in, and yeah, this should be should be game now. Like the rare, whatever it does, it can extreme speed us. Ah, I mean, it, it, look, why why have I got no recollection? I the interruption. <laughs> threw itself completely here so we will go for a moonblast and if if for any reason the requires a protect and the phantom force will pick up the knockout anyway so really nice way to set up the win there and pull it back and guys we've done it for the first time since we kicked off the raw to rank roulette series three weeks ago now two weeks ago whichever way you want to look at it but we've won two games in a row and we've done it and we're now sitting Three wins and one loss for the week. So we're doing really good. The team is doing really good. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Road to Rank Roulette action. So do sit tight, guys. Remember, we've got the buttons we can activate tomorrow. We can get those activated. If you'd like to see them activated, let me know which one you would like to see activated. And also remember to leave a comment and a like for the chance to win this lovely hat posted out directly to you. is a little appreciation to show my thanks to all the support that you give the channel and myself. Have a great rest of your day though, guys. We'll see you for more action tomorrow. Things are picking up. Finally, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. We all believed it. And your belief made it happen as well as mine. So, there we go. Have a great day. I'll see you for the next one, guys. Until then, bye-bye.